welcome back everybody to another tutorial video here in the Even Dragons Shall Embrace album tutorials. Just a reminder, I do have chord charts for all these songs up on my website. Link in the description there that you can check them out. And thanks to my guy Adam Duell who helped me get those there. They're in a lot of different chord voicings and things that I think are very helpful. Most of those are oriented around helping people figure out how to play the songs on my album basically in standard tuning. And they work very well for that. If you're not real fancy, if you're not interested in jumping into a lot of different open tunings and things like that, those chord charts will help you out. Uh, they'll also just sort of serve as a roadmap through the song, even if you are a more advanced player, even using some of the things that I'm going to show you there. So check those out. Um, but I'm going to teach you today how to play the main sections of Psalm 144 uh, from my album. First thing you need to know, like a lot of these songs, is that they are actually written in open C tuning, which is just, if it was, if I didn't have a capo one, it'd be C, G, C, G, C, E. Uh, you can get there in most tuning apps, but make sure you're there in open C tuning to play along with this. Um, this song is also capo seven, which puts the song, wow, let's see, key of E minor or so. Um, so the main song is built around a very simple riff, and it just goes like this. I'm going to play it and then sort of break it down. It goes. Oh, blessed be the Lord, my strength, who trained my hands for and trains my fingers for the fight. The fortress is my Lord. He is my steadfast love and my deliverer, my tower. So too with peoples under me, my shield in whom I trust. Very bluesy, Coulter Wall sleeping on the black type, top kind of vibe. So. Very easy riff, actually. You could, again, like a lot of the songs in the album, you could play them with one finger on the left hand. Uh, it just goes. So you're hammering on. I'm going to use the string names as if they're in standard tuning and not open C. But, you know, so you, as if you're on the, the D string, third fret, from open to the third fret. That's your hammer on. You play the top two as well. You'd be kind of sloppy play almost all the strings and they pretty much all sound good. And then the third fret just now on the A string. Second fret on the A string. Third fret on the E string. Open. I just messed it up. Listener, as you mess up, remember those who have gone before. Here it goes. seat it up there a little bit. You can do that in open C. Uh, the cool thing is if you want to make a real major sound, stick on the second and fourth strings. If you want to make a real bluesy sound on most of the middle strings, it's the third to the fifth fret. Uh, and that's real fun. So uh, you'll also notice that this shape, we're basically playing around this shape. It's almost like the top half of a C major chord in open tune, in standard tuning. Um, So that's the that's the verse. That's pretty much it. Oh, blessed be the Lord, my strength, train my hands for. Uh, now the other part, portion of the song, the oh may our sons be in their youth, and a lot of the interlude is built around. Um, well, first of all, it's built around Emily Heimstra's wicked awesome viola fiddle playing. So check out her. She's got a lot of great classical stuff. But she nailed the fiddle parts on that on this song. Uh, and, and this one's really easy. It's just you're holding down the top two strings, the E and the A, on the third fret to the fifth fret. And may our sons be in their youth, like green plants fully grown. 
You don't have to play it like a weirdo with your finger over the top of the fretboard. That's just how I'm doing it right now. So you can see better what I'm doing and how ridiculously easy it is. Everybody thinks that I'm a really good guitar player, but I'm kind of not. So here we go. Yeah, that's what it is. Lesson B. wall as polished cornerstones oh may our son you know that that whole part so that's basically the entire song it's very very straightforward so check it out play around in the tuning yourself oops it yourself you'll be figuring it out before you know it and a big uh, key to playing these sorts of songs that are very repetitive have a lot of the same kind of musical phrase repeated over and over is to just nail those dynamics so make sure you're playing a little quiet parts where you're like on my string who train my hands forward. and then later you can sort of dig in and really around but have fun make sure you check out those chords charts and uh hope you keep enjoying the album thanks guys